Hi, this is Al Edlund. This is the first of two videos that is going to explore an application called PKG Visio. Package Visio was written as a sandbox uh, to explore some of the new features in Visio 2013 customer preview uh, beta. This application will also take advantage of Office Professional Plus 2013. Specifically, uh, we will do some work with Excel in the second video. So let's get into uh, what we're looking at. Office, or rather Visio 2013, uh, is the first release of Visio that takes advantage of the open office uh, technical standards of uh, creating a structure that will allow for open uh, development within uh, the Visio environment. Just like the uh, Office Suite, starting with Office 2007, uh, the file extensions now uh, are four letters in, in length. Uh, that uh, deal with, for instance, VSDX, which is the XML uh, document, VSDM, which is uh, the document that has VBA projects in it. If we rename these files as zip, uh, I've taken this graphing uh, uh, package and renamed it, and then drill into it, we will find a directory structure that shows relationships, document properties, and if we open, for instance, app XML, uh, we will get an XML file that describes uh, the application. And, and uh, this is uh, should be very familiar to anyone working with uh, open office development. Uh, doc properties is, is pretty much standard across open office. Visio is the directory where we carry the directories and files which are unique to Visio. Uh, masters uh, should be familiar as well as pages. If we open that, we uh, will see that we have three page uh, XML files, a pages XML file. And if we open these, we can get into how the specific page has been uh, set up within Visio. With that as preface, uh, let's go into uh, Visual Studio. The Visual Studio uh, application is, is uh, several directories. We have uh, core functions, we have classes and modules, uh, we have data functions which focus on data record sets and data validation. We have a documents section which will work with pages, windows, and documents. We have a documentation section and what I've put in here is uh, two Microsoft Word uh, documents that are basically working notes that while I was uh, uh, doing the development of this project. Uh, there's two primary forms, uh, and then there's a shapes section. Um, I also put uh, notes in, in the, the form main. Uh, I take advantage of uh, as I mentioned, Office uh, 2013 uh, public beta, and I also use, uh, continue to use Enterprise Library for things like uh, error control. Okay, let's go into our application and walk through that uh, quickly. Uh, we have two primary functions in the application in this uh, uh, video. We're going to look at Explore. Uh, demo will be the second uh, video. Let's do file, open a package, we have test drawings within the solution. Uh, we're going to continue using graphing for our first uh, document. We open it up and here's our tree structure for how the uh, package was put together. We have, uh, when we looked at the apps XML file, we can select that and examine it uh, and look at the uh, raw XML within the file. Uh, we have three pages. Um, once again, let's go close these down. Uh, we have a master section 
and there's our VBA project uh, that justified the VSDM file extension. So we can look at the files individually as XML, or we can explore them. Select Visio. Select Windows first. We get a form. It says there are three windows uh, written into this application, uh, a drawing and two stencils. We can select the stencils, look at the attributes uh, and element definitions for these windows. Let's move on to document. The document, as we pointed out before, has three primary um, uh, files. We have the app XML file, and we look at that, and it says app version is 15. We have the core XML uh, file, which will have some information on when the document was created. And we have the doc XML, which is where the document sheet is, is stored. If there are persistent events in this document, we will also list these out as well. Let's look at the pages. The uh, document is three pages. We have a network detail page, and what we do for when we select the pages is, or a page within the pages, uh, we will give the shapes for the uh, uh, that page and the tree structure. And if we uh, look down, we get a quick view of what the types of shapes are. Uh, also on this page, what I've done is I've gone through the connects section of the page sheet. And uh, I've analyzed uh, the connections so that we have um, the start shape and the end shape. And if they're uh, connected using a dynamic connector, we will list that as well. And if, in fact, uh, they're connected without using a dynamic connector, we'll, we'll list this out. Let's go look at a, uh, uh, first of all, let's look at the page sheet. And here's the page sheet for the page. Uh, since, <coughs> since page sheet, document sheet, and shape sheets, are all basically the same structure within Visio. We're going to see this form when we examine all three of them. Uh, there are no shapes within a uh, uh, page sheet. We do have attributes, and we do have elements, and we can look at the elements and and see what the values are in there. Let's move back. Select a shape. And then we have the shape uh, attributes as well for a specific shape. If we look into the shape elements, we see sections. If you examine a, a VXD file in the previous releases, uh, you'll, you, know, you, you discover that uh, the XML wraps each of the individual shells, or cells rather, uh, in a section label. They don't do that in this version. We can select properties for shape data and we'll, we'll give you a breakdown of the rows within the section. That's the difference, the primary difference in the shape sheet. Now we have cells and the only time we see a section uh, delimiter is when there are rows embedded in the shell or uh, section. Um. Let's uh, move off of this form, or off of this uh, drawing, and we'll move into a drawing that has uh, data record sets. Data record sets, of course, are how we do data linking. And we see a data record set section in our tree, and we see a data connection section in the tree, which uh, shows that, that we're working with uh, data linked shapes. So let's go up to Explore. Visio, data record sets, and here's our four data record sets, as well as the query that was used to uh, fill the in internal data record set. There is no connection file name because this data was imported programmatically and not using uh, the data import functions. We get the data rows that are in that uh, data record set, and we also get a row map that says uh, which rows are mapped to which page and shapes within the document. 
if we come to uh, the second tab on this uh, form data definition, it will show us the schema used uh, within the uh, data record set and how Visio has documented the columns within that data record set. Finally, let's do one other uh, document type and we'll bring up a BPM drawing. Uh, one thing I haven't shown up until now is there is a second tab here and what we do is we'll actually import uh, the drawing into uh, Visio ActiveX drawing control just to see what it does look like. Uh, we can do the explore here. Uh, you'll note we have a validation uh, theme since it's a BPM. Our first panel for BPM shows issues. There were two issues with this drawing, three and four. Uh, three says there's a missing start event, and if we select that, we'll open the second tab. It gives us the information on the rule sets, and it has taken us to the rule ID that uh, failed, that missing start event, the categories, uh, and the descriptions. So that's a quick walkthrough of how we might use the explore functions to look at the documents. And for that, I think we're going to close this one down right now. Uh, the next video, once again, will be on the demo side where we'll walk through the creation from scratch of a Visio drawing using XML. Once again, this is Al Itland.